I should probably add at this point that this is the first time I have quilted a pineapple this large. So I have just played this entire thing by ear as I sewed. I haven't even really decided how to quilt the interior of the pineapple just yet. Um, I think I'm going to outline all of these individual uh, pineapple top pieces though. I think that will wind up looking better. a lot of snipping. <laughs> it's, it's also tricky sometimes cutting the thread because it can cut that last stitch like this one right there. It doesn't tend to come apart, but I would rather be safe than sorry. The thread works a lot differently on canvas than it does on uh, regular fabric, where threads tend to really pull out in places if you cut a stitch. Between the raw canvas on the back of this and the batting and all of the acrylic paint on the top, it all tends to kind of stay in place. Another thing you may have noticed is that the size makes it really difficult to pull through the neck of the machine. It bunches up and uh, doesn't move very freely sometimes, so there's a lot of swinging involved. Maybe by the time I've finished quilting the top, I will have figured out how to quilt the bottom. <laughs> Meanwhile, my 17-year-old uh, cat is sleeping under the bed covers, so hopefully she will not wake up and, oh, yep, sure she did. So I need to let her out of the room real quick.
in thinking about quilting each of those segments of the pineapple individually. Also tried pulling the thread back up just to save a little bit of thread here and there. I also don't currently know where my bobbin is at. Um, I really did mean to do a second bobbin, but I did not do that. interesting. I didn't notice that this one painted spot did not fully form, so I'm just going to continue outlining it. I may come back and actually touch that up. I've done that a few times, so I've gotten comfortable painting around the thread. Most of the pineapples I've done with this same style of template were uh, quilted like my regular pineapples, just in a grid. So I really don't know how much time has passed, so I don't even know how long this video is right now. I'm also using a much thinner batting. I'm not sure I like that because the puffiness is really not coming out as well as the thicker batting. Yeah, in fact, it's kind of puffed up a little bit at the top. Most of the time I jump around between segments to keep that from happening.
so that was my knee lift occasionally falling off. It's about the only annoying thing with this sewing machine, which incidentally is a Juki. That's the mid-range, I think the 600, I honestly can never, yeah, it's actually the HZLF 400. Okay, so I'm down to the last one. Yeah, yeah, see this did not anchor good right here. I think that's still okay though. Yeah, I'd say it's bunched up just a little bit there, but I think that's still fine. It just moves the puffiness to other places. Okay, so what to do with this pineapple? So this is 33 minutes long now, which is now my longest video. I think I'm going to quilt every individual segment. jump around like I should have done with the top. Now I may very well come back and repaint in between it. Oh yeah, see that didn't anchor. I think what I do is sometimes I will cut the thread and move too fast. So what this could also serve to do is move the puffiness in between each of the segments. This one did not anchor good either. Most of it is just simply the nature of the thickness. And also some of my stitch length was not great there either. Okay. Is really the thing about free motion quilting is you're having to regulate the foot pressure, the hand movement, 
while trying to watch the stitch length. Am I moving too fast? Am I moving too slow? Have I just made a half inch thread stitch? You can kind of start to see the puffiness show up in between each of these segments. Which was what I was kind of hoping for. And I am working from an external spool. I can't remember if I mentioned that. Probably the best thing I've added to my machine. I'm getting really curious about my bobbin. I know it was completely full when I started this. You can see a few of those stitches were a little bit on the long side. Sometimes there's some sticking on the bottom because the back is so rough. Oh, which reminds me, I have one of those Supreme sliders which I forgot to put on probably would have kept all of this from here. If I knew where it was, I would grab it, but I am not entirely sure where I left it. see the puffiness kind of showing up again. It's probably going to make some of these segments like that one puffy, which is what's good, because that really adds some three-dimensional texture.
just came loose a little bit. I'll probably fix that more because I just want the solid connection to the outside of the pineapple. So yeah, the pineapple is really starting to take shape now. Yeah, I noticed there was some uh, stitch length problems on the outside. And I inadvertently snipped one of those threads. What I may do, I think, is just pop that out and then restitch it up to this next segment. Um, I normally don't do any kind of ripping because once the holes are in the canvas, that's it. There's no covering them up. So I've only got a couple left. Well, five maybe. I may even come back and dot each of these segments with some iridescent gold. That works pretty good. Or maybe even a, a raw sienna. Oops. Just pulled it all the way out of the needle. 